Do I really have to say so? Oh, I messed up the script. And you know what? Let's just do it. Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode on the channel. Today we'll be talking about chapters 11 to 20 of Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray. But before we start, let's take a little bit of a cat clip. How about that? Cute. Chop, chop, everyone. Chapters 11 to 20. Wake up. All right, let's get this started. Chapters 11 to 20. In this, we discussed the summaries in the past 10 episodes, and you already brushed up on all the summaries, but just in case that you don't know, let me just brush it up a little bit for you. The Yellow Book has been with Dorian in Chapter 11, and it's been influencing terribly a lot. Eventually, he buys enough versions of the book with different colors on the cover itself so that it matches his moods whenever he reads it. And it's one of the originals, to be honest. The yellow book is the original, and then there are definitely other colors, like the blue book, or the red book, or the green book, or the purple book, I'm pretty sure. Or some rainbow-colored book, I guess, too. That could work, too. One more thing I should talk about this is that it also has a lot of talks of homosexuality. And back then, homosexuality was considered gross and illegal for some reason until it was like the 18-something. Homosexuality was really illegal and it, it was punishable by death because of some gross indictment or whatever. Another thing that can be said is that uh, art versus life can be shown in this. Art Sometimes said to represent the artist who drew the art or made the art. Well, sometimes some people also argue that the artist is not reflected in the art. What do you think? I personally don't want to get involved in this conversation. And now there's, I would rather go into another scene called uh, life versus art. Life is not art. You cannot be influenced by art to do some life. But some actually have. All I could say about this is that some arts have actually inspired people to do things like, I don't know, the like. Let's say that you have a bat, you see a picture of a battle, and then you re and this reminds you a lot of the movement that's happening right now, and then you read an article about it, and see its history, then you decide to do take some action. That's technically art influencing a person, life. And then it changes the world. Possibly. Probably just his or her neighborhood. But sometimes it might even change the whole world. Art influences someone. Because whenever you see art, you might feel some other expressions too. Like uh, sometimes when you see, when you're angry, they say you see red. Which means you're angry. The colors are associated with some emotions normally. And that's how, in my opinion, art influences life. And then again, it's also the opposite way that can be argued. But what the heck, just move on, will ya? Yeah, I could curse. Another thing I can say right now is that life is kind of natural, and beauty is not the only thing about life. I mean, some people aren't beautiful, but at least they look cool. I guess. Moving on. A lot of things have happened since we've started talking about the little uh, the picture of dorian gray it started to change and i guess the painting itself is showing us a soul like how someone can go on of life if they are soulless and if they are soulless all i'm going to say is that maybe they're not soulless at all they're just heartless they need to fill it up with hearts and if they can't, that's up for them to try, choose. Life is a gift, and you shouldn't spend it all going clowering over your beauty, and using your beauty as a chance to never get caught. Beauty is another scene. Homosexual beauty, man beauty. A man praising another man's beauty, it's like saying that that man likes that man like more than friend-like, more like a like-like or something. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about here, and it's something to do with gays. No, not the definition of being happy, but the definition of being, like, man and man, like... 
Yeah, I don't think you want to know. Unless you're homosexual, too. Homosexual is being banned, as you've probably recall from me already saying that. Or did I? And the Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray, this, I recommend reading it, at least chapters 11 to 20, because of its themes and recurring themes and recurring diversity and recurring thinking times. This whole book is has a span of like uh, 18 and a few months, years, give or take a less, and... That's, that, that's great. All I'm going to say right now is that Oscar Wilde made a masterpiece that we'll be continuing to discuss in our next episode where we talk about the flu book. Hope you guys enjoyed our today's episode and I'll see you guys in my next episode. Shana out. Peace.